Open the door. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing well. A few jobs coming up in this episode. Um, first one was a leaking radiator valve. It was on a big open vented system. Um, and when I got there, the system was red hot. And to be honest with you, I didn't fancy draining it all down. Um, so I took a little bit of a risk and sort of put my hose on it and then sort of tried to snatch it across. But yeah, things can go a little bit wrong. It didn't, nothing did go wrong, um, but I probably was a little bit stupid. I should, probably should have been a little bit more patient. Um, waiting for it to rain just because of the temperature of the water um i did try and just nip the valve up for a start and every time i was just getting like a little bit of water it's one of them really frustrating ones where they just won't nip up i tried backing it off putting a bit of jet blue on it um but no it won't have it so i had to change the olive um and then there's a couple of other little bits coming up in the episode so yeah as always thank you so much for watching all the support is greatly appreciated and we'll crack straight on with it called after this job is a leaking radiator valve they've had a pot underneath it i've tried nipping it up and there's just a bead of water every time. I backed it off, the trouble is everything's red on it. It's on a huge system as well, um, but it's still leaking, so I really want to change that olive. I mean, it's not a lot, but it is just on the blue roll. So what I'm going to try and do is snatch it across. It's an open vented system. You can't get to the header tank. The header tank's up there. So yeah, I'm a bit stuck really, and it's red on. This is the plant room. You've got a big ideal logic. Uh, my mate fitted that. It goes into this buffer. That is the coal feed on that lever valve there. That one there is the vent. But the trouble is I can't even cap the vent. So we've got 35s that rise across and there's air valves up there. And then the pipes go across into that hall. I don't really want to do this. It's one of them where you're going to get a drop of wax at. If you turn the coal feed off, in fact, we'll switch the plant off as well. Switch the plant off. Um, switch that pump valve off. It might hold a little bit back. Plain gate valve roulette. Um, and we'll see what we can do. I say it's every time it's just a bead of water on it. Not a drain off on this one either, which is handy. It goes all the way along. So it's a huge place this. I mean, once upon a time, I probably would have snatched this, but you learn to become wiser. And when the wet is that hot, you know what I mean? you take, take your skin off. We'll get a rag under there. That radiator we're getting red hot. We'll have a quick look at this one while it was draining down. I'm guessing it's probably just been switched off. Oh, that valve's full on. This is the end of the system. It's not that that was just full of air or something. Won't be out much. Is that on? Can't get to it. That valve will just switched off, so that radiator will work now um, when we get the heating back on. But yeah, just got to take my time on this one. So it's not a lot, that's the annoying thing, but he's probably been hit by a, a football or something. I don't know if they do sports in this all. That one's nearly off on the balance. I'm hoping I can just snatch that valve in. Uh, well, not so much snatch it. I took the pressure, well, trying to knock the pressure a bit off the system. Um, hoping that tail will be okay in the radiator. I'm just going to try and get a new nut and olive on. I don't know if it's been over tightened or. So I did try and back it off. The olive bin. See, it's been leaking a while. Potentially, I could have froze it. What do you do for the best? We're still getting no end. Soon get yourself in a mess. Oh, if it wasn't hot, I would do it. Oh, it's not it's gonna get third degree burns. Just 
occupation. I don't know if that rat's breathing in yet. We'll buy that, it's empty, but it seemed to be getting a bit at the bottom, didn't we? I know I opened that valve back up just to see, but you might just spin it. It hadn't actually been draining that long, but it'll probably just find its own level. off. We just can't get any movement on the pipe either which doesn't help. Got it draining through there now, so honestly, nearly taking my skin off. We won't even go out here. And the annoying thing is, I don't think it's a lot of water. I might as well change the, uh, the tail now as well. Not a lot of water, not with all the ice. feedback on there we're filling up this is just a buffer so you've got a shunt pump out the boiler into the shunt pump we've put a pipe stat on there looking at it and then there's a secondary circulation pump for the heating system so that one's the one that pumps it around the radiator that one just circulates it into the buffer and then you've got cold feed and vent it's a little bit of a, not a strange setup looks like well it's got a an immersion oh i'd say because they're running it on the solar that solar probably boosts that that's not a cylinder that's just for the heating, I don't know why why it's done like that, but it is. 
and probably just boost it up a little bit. Then my auto events up there, I'll probably start acing. Looks like they've been leaking, doesn't it? Oh. Is that empty in the buffer? No wonder it was coming back a bit. It probably emptied the buffer that. The tank is filling, I don't know if you can hear it. One of them will be cold feed down, one of them is vent and one of them is main up. But the tank is up there. Obviously I would have bunged it if I'd got a three triple extender ladder with me. I'll get this one bled. Might be full to be fair. I'm hoping none of the others pulled in. I don't know. We'll get it sorted. Is it? Probably turned off, is it? That one was only just on a crack. I will put the lock shield thing on there in a minute, but minor problem. You can see it been leaking a while, just been staying in the wood. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but if I just tried to nip it up, you can just tell when you nip it, it just didn't feel right. But it ain't leaking now. So yeah, we'll uh, get it all filled back up and get down the road. Get it filled back up. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody hadn't already been out to that and tried tightening that up. You can just tell when you're trying to tighten it. I don't know, it just doesn't bite. You know what I mean? It's like almost like it slips. But yeah, I'm happy it's not leaking. All these are full down this side, so I think the, wa the water must have held back. I said I didn't get a lot of water. It was just the, um, just the temperature of it. So I just switched the boiler back on. And... Uh, Hopefully nothing airlocks. I don't think it does. I've, I've drained this down before. Yeah, that's fine. I've drained this down before and it was all right. It sounds nice and quiet. I've turned that pipe stack down just to bring that pump on. It won't bring that pump on until the buffer's got up to temperature. So I will put that back, but I can't hear any air. I mean, it's only just starting to get hot, but it will take ages. And it's funny, I couldn't get rid of the heat and now I can't get enough heat, but it sounded all right when I brought that pump on. I fitted them just for the record. Plenty of your cleaning eyes on your vinyls. You know, you can't have too many systems up there on this one. Uh, we put a systemizer on. Yeah, that still looks right. This was a few years ago, non concussive taps. Obviously, somebody's been in the change one at some point. Yeah, so it looks alright, innit? This was just the gents. What are doing here? Oh, yeah. Fitted that rad as well. The reason there's no TRVs in this room here is because this is the one where the stat is. It's the main hall, so they're mainly, they're mainly in here. Um, so I know somebody will say, why don't you put TRVs on? It's because it's where the room stat is. That's your main drop. They are starting to warm up. I think I'm going to call that a job. Um, I don't think this system air locks. So yeah, I reckon we're done. Right, I've just been called out to this job. Um, this house has been flooded, unfortunately. So what I've been asked to do is isolate the water and just drain it down. It's freezing cold today. Um, I think they're worried about anything freezing up and causing more damage. I'll quickly show the system. What we've got is pressurized heating system. It's got a little 12 litre, I think that's a 12 litre one, 12 litre expansion vessel. Header tank for the uh, vented cylinder. It looks like this is an electric boiler on this one. So you just got to pump out the flow. Um, I've done a few of these electric boilers. The ones I've done in the past have been the heat race radiators. We turn out the bottom and then that just heats the radiators. I think there's only four radiators on this system. So what I'll do is isolate the incoming water supply. Um, Drain down the heating. Obviously, that will that will drain it all. That will drain itself all down anyway. Um, it's got an auto air vent on the top, uh, so it will drain through the return. So it'll empty all the boiler. Obviously, it won't refill on the header tank because it's on a, a sealed system. So we'll get that drained down first. We'll open a hot tap, get this get this header tank here emptied, and then we'll just drain the cylinder. I think the radiator is on drop, so we've probably got a couple of drops to drain, and yeah, get this cylinder emptied as well. So this is the incoming water. It has actually been switched off, um, so we'll get everything draining. That's got no flush in it anyway. Opener, yeah, I think somebody's already switched the water off, but they're not emptied the heart, and obviously the heat is still up to pressure. We've got a drain off tap on this. We've just got one radiator in the back room. Uh, no, oh, there is a drain off tap. Drain off tap on there. Uh, so we get that one drained, and then we just got one rad there with a drain off on it, and then one rad there. So there's only four rads downstairs and two upstairs. It's bitterly cold today. Normally these drain-off taps are pretty good. These drain-off taps normally work. 
which that one is doing. You know what, my engine's frozen. That was an amps. I normally try and empty. I normally try and empty my hose out, but it's obviously turned to ice. To empty your hose out every time, just little bits. Gone crunchy. That feels all right. There, look as well. Well, working in the winter takes longer. We got it with a load of ice. That's why you always want to drain your hose down properly. Should be all right. Well, I'll open the upstairs air taps and they should breathe in. That'll empty all the water out of the radiators. Sends only two upstairs. It'll also empty the boiler with the automatic air vent and we just drain each drop and then we get the cylinder drained. Right, just let them breathe in. So that's breathing in on that auto air vent now as well. So it's emptying all this and so nothing in here is going to be out of freeze. There ain't no drain off tap on that cylinder, that's your cold feed there. I don't know if you can quite see it on the camera. Comes up and then into that gate valve. We've emptied the big ta tank anyway, or the storage system for it. So all I'll do is do a dirt play with that here. Yeah. I'll uh, disconnect it off there and I'll just siphon it out. What I'm going to have to try and do with this cylinder is siphon it out because there's no drain off tap. I'm a little bit reluctant, if I'm honest, to start messing about with the connections on top. Um, because sometimes you can make these old copper cylinders pinhole. I know, I know it probably won't, but sometimes my luck, it will. So what I might have, a, I might have a word with them, see if they want that cylinder drain, and they'll probably say yes. But at least then I've covered my backside in case it does start leaking. Um, because that cylinder is probably an 80s one. Um, it could literally just have a pinhole somewhere in the bottom of it. It's just held together by scale. Um, so it's, you know what it's like in this trade. Just cover, cover your backside is all I'll say. I'll have a word with them and find out if they want to drain in. The temperature's picking up again next week anyway. And I don't think the cylinder is likely to freeze. Um, I mean, you've got to be seriously cold to make that freeze. Um, so yeah, I'll have a word with them. Just cover your backside in this trade um, because there'll always be somebody. Oh, you've made it leak. You know, we've all had it. We've all had it. Um, but yeah, that's all I'll say. Just, just you know, be a little bit careful. I always go around, shut all my drain off, shut all my air taps at the end, because that way if anybody comes to fill up, just switches the water back on. I will label the stop tap anyway, it won't have water flying out. The old van could do with the wash this weekend as well, look, it's filthy. Right, that's got this one all sorted. I will notify him about the cylinder um, being unable to drain it. I just don't want to go wiggling it, and you know what it's like. Um, they can leak. I'm not saying it will, there's probably only a 1% chance, but my luck. Well, I don't the temperature picking up next week anyway. I mean, it's cold today, it's been cold this week, but next week they're on about six, seven degrees again. Um, so yeah, I'll notify them, but yeah, just cover you back in this job. I so said, drained everything in the house down the heating system, um, I've emptied all the cop copper pipe work the best I can. So yeah, on to the next. I drop on this one, day of problems day, you can see it going down up. 13. It's lost a millibar in about half a second. I'll have to see if I can find it. Gas run only runs along there and then into the boiler, so it can't be much. It's dropping. I know I put it up a bit higher that time. That's why I always do a tightness test on service. I just get my magic wand out on it. I don't know where it's losing it. If I can't find it, I'll just disc it off. There's an apple wall on there, is that? Just to show you. Oh, my battery. Why? And it's holding now. I think it was on that nut. Um, but I've changed that washer in there. I didn't film it because I didn't bond it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you're supposed to bond across uh, to take a meter out. It obviously is. You're supposed to you're supposed to do a lot of things in this life but we don't always do what we're supposed to do doing but yeah most important thing technically you don't you're not technically you're not even supposed to do a, i'm not going to say you're not supposed to do a, a tightness test on service but i always do um because you cover your backside of all we keep saying in this game cover your backside uh, there was no smell of gas but it was a definite drop on that connection um but yeah i changed that washer and that washer and we're holding 21 millibar 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the whole tightness test procedure again. I'm going to do a let by temperature stabilisation and then just run it through all again. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is all right now. Panic over. Um, that um, sniff is brilliant when it works. Uh, just the one that plugs into the Anton analyzer. But I've just lowered that down to 10. Uh, to be fair, I lost all my fluid out my manometer. And I prefer to do it with the water gauge. So I'll lower that down to 10 for one minute. Uh, that's my let by, so that's testing the ECV. I'm not sure what that bit of oil pipe's doing there, but it's not connected. Um, it, the meter is bonded. We've got seals. Um, we've got emergency contact numbers. Um, we've got a compression joint there, which is, again, it's okay. Um, not how I would have done it, but it is what it is. So we'll leave that. That's fine. And then we'll lift it to 20 for one minute temperature stabilisation. So we put that on 20, we'll leave that for one minute. If it moves, we can adjust it back, but then we've got to do a two minute tightness test. I personally don't like any drop. Technically with appliances connected, we could have a four millibar drop on that meter. I don't, I don't like it. You're not allowed anything on your pipe work, obviously no smell of gas. If you've, this, if that's, this is being said, four millibar drop with no smell of gas. There's, if there's a smell of gas, it's zero milli drop. Zilli, I can't even get my words out, it's that cold. It's zero millibar drop anyway, um, but I, I like to try and find them if I can. It's normally going to be on your on your cooker or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's not moving now, so I think that's all it was on this one. That's actually had four minutes and it's not moved, so we're good to go. And green means go. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Can't do that, my hands are so cold now. But yeah, I always do a tightness test. You don't have to. Well, I think you should have to. Do what you, do what you think's right, but. And obviously, we're not going to forget to do that. Beautiful. Right, I've just called round to this job. Uh, this is a job I've been ongoing for a while, but I need to get finished off today. Um, they told me just to come fit my dock end pack, but I can't be in the room at the minute because Spark is in there doing his fuse board and stuff. Um, so I'm probably not going to get much footage. So while I was waiting, I just thought I'd come disconnect this. On radiator, this was one room I couldn't get in before. It's basically moved out of the office for a week and it's Friday today and they're back in next week. Um, that's all disconnected on the outside. I just need to cut this off. So yeah, it's absolute chaos here today. I thought it was going to be a nice, easy day or just finish off here and just literally can't get on anywhere. Um, it's just finding bits to do so. Probably going to end the video there actually, so as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you all next week. Right, that's got this dock end pack done. I didn't get any footage of the second fix because everybody's been in my way today. Uh, sometimes it goes like that, but it's all plumbed in, everything's working. Uh, electrician's just got to bond that wire back in. He's actually doing his fuse board right now. Um, so I've done all the rails, all got a good fixings. Obviously, none of it's been decorated, but again, not my problem. All I wanted to do was wait for the floor layers to get the floor down because it's a much better job. Um, I probably will end up silicon around that, but everybody's just making dust in here. So yeah, that's this little one all sorted. A lot different from where we started. Obviously we had to chop the drain up and everything, but yeah, job done, thankfully. <laughs>